Hi there, this is Anne with a real quick anagram on um, using JS Fiddle, playing the snake game, and changing your first code. When you land on the JS Fiddle page, my guess is it's going to look something like this. You might have a big blue button kind of covering up this top thing, but there'll be a place, um, a little flat button on it somewhere that says close and just click that. Now, when you first get to JS Fiddle, you're going to see the four quadrants for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the output are all approximately the same size. But we actually don't care too much um, about the HTML, and we don't care today anything at all about the CSS. So the first thing I'd do is use your cursor to see I can grab that line. It's a faint line, but it's there. Pull that up just about to under this H2 line. You're going to need to change that, so let's go ahead and keep that showing. And just cover up as much CSS as you can so you can see all the game. To play the game, you have to remember to click in the black area, and then essentially use your little um, arrow keys on your keyboard to move the snake around. When it eats the apple, you score, a new apple shows up, and the snake gets longer, which means the game gets harder to play. Um, this is a variation of the game where the snake can actually just walk through walls and show up on the other side. Um, sometimes snakes die when they hit the wall, but not in this one. So um, I wanted to show you what it's like to change, change values. Um, comments are important. So it's, so read them. One of the things we're going to be emphasizing this semester is being able to read the code. And part of that is being able to read the comments if they were well written. Um, so in particular, if the snake is running too fast for you and don't laugh. It does run too fast. Um, 10 is about as, as fast as I can play this game. So if you want the snake to go slower so it's easier to hit the apple, the first thing you can do is game gets faster as the delay goes down, make it bigger to go slower. So let's make that game loop delay 20. Um, when we do that, nothing changes until we hit the run button. And when I hit the run button, try to notice the snake going slower. Yep, noticeably slower and easier to play for those of us who are not real good with our keyboard games. You can do things like change the points per apple. The original value is five. If we change it to 50, and now that the game's getting slow, remember we have to click on the black part again before we can Play. So you always have to go back and click on the black part before the game will play for you with the keyboard. Um, nothing's happening because I didn't hit run. So now I've hit run. Snake is still slow. And if I can manage to hit that, I should get 50 points right away. Score. Okay. So the other two, th two things that you're asked to change are the color of the snake and the color of the apple. And these are um, technically CSS colors, uh, but there are 140 of them. So if you use a reasonable value, like blue or brown or red or white, um, your change should work fine. I do recommend not changing either the snake or the apple to be black. That makes the game extremely hard to play. And the only other thing that some people like uh, depending on, on how you prefer your working environment, there's some things you can do here with settings even when you don't have an account. I per per personally like dark theme as opposed to light. And that just, for me, makes the, makes the code easier to read. Uh, if you don't have line numbers in your version, be sure to click this so that you get line numbers. You definitely want to be able to see those as you work. That's all for now.